You have until tomorrow, Jordan. I'm sorry. Mr. Goldstein, I need a little bit more time. I... I lost my business to this pandemic, and... Just think about my daughter. I have kids to feed too, Jordan. This pandemic has cost me two buildings due to sick tenants. Mr. Goldstein, just give me a week. You have until tomorrow. I'm sorry. I could not extend you any longer. Hey, Kels. Hey, Joe. I just came by to bring by your last hard drive. You all right? You're an angel. These are the last files I need to create the cures. Just when I thought I was done for. Come on in. Have a seat, I'll be right with you. So, talk to me. What's going on? Well, the landlord just called, and I have until tomorrow to pay rent. My crops and everything have been stolen or sabotaged by the companies. That's horrible. How could they do that to you? You've done so much for the community. <laughs> yeah, but where's the community now when I need them? I'm about to be homeless, my daughter, and there's no one to help us. Didn't you save the crops and vials I gave you? Yes, I only have two left, but I had to sell all the equipment to pay back the banks. I'm so sorry to hear that, Joe. I know how much they may have hurt you. You know what hurts? Is healing half the community? and then being your own healer for your own wounds. I'll get it. Jordan, I'm so sorry to bother you. Do you have a moment? If this is about the rent, Mr. Goldstein? No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about the rent. I have an emergency and I really need your help. Come on in. So, Mr. Goldstein, what can I do for you today? Is that him? Your landlord? Well, hello there, young lady. Mr. Goldstein, meet Kells. Kells, Mr. Goldstein. Hello, Mr. Landlord, who wants to help my friend, yet he'll be homeless tomorrow. That's actually why I've come. Mr. Goldstein, I told you, I don't want to talk about the rent. I'm doing the best I can. No, no, please listen. My young niece has become a victim of this vicious disease that's spreading. Please save her. My brother is willing to pay $3 million for your medicine. $3 million? Yes. He lives in the next town over, and he has a lab and a farm that's all yours if you will just administer the medicine to my niece. Yes, Mr. Goldstein, I'm able to help your niece. With the lab and farm, I'll be able to make the medicine. Uh, you will need a team to run the lab and farm. Yes, and I'm sure they will all be willing to come back to work. Kells here is the mastermind behind the technology. Me? It'll be an Anna, Joe. Uh, marvelous. So, it's settled? I have two more vials left to give you. Just administer them in the upper region of her arm and let the medicine do its magic. Get them now. Thank you. Thank you. My niece is saved because of you. No, thank you, sir. With this money, I'll be able to give my daughter the life that she deserves. I really hate to disrupt this happy moment. I am extremely proud of you, Joe. But the technology and the equipment for the vials, they're very costly. No, you're right. With the equipment and technology, it'll cost us millions. Ms. Kells, if you're the one who created the technology for Jordan, you too will get a check for $3 million. My brother is more than capable of accommodating your needs. Well, that's settled. Who is your brother? My brother is Orion Cothon Goldstein. The, the Orion, Orion Cothon? Cothon? Yes. And my brother, he wanted to farm the land and I decided to sell it. So we're very, very grateful for your help. 
Uh, I must go now and return to my niece. Mr. Goldstein, thank you very much. And give our thanks to your brother as well. We're humbled and glad to be working with you guys. Likewise. It's been a pleasure. The pleasure is mine. The moral of the story is, no matter what the odds, never give up hope and always strive to be a better person. Remain humble and never forget about the people who supported you on your way to the top. Always be understanding of others' situations. You never know when you're gonna need them to be understanding of yours.